All right, guys, back with fitness myth number four. Now, I briefly touched on my follow-up video to fitness myth three about muscle soreness, and I talked about how it's not necessary to be extremely sore to build muscle. Now, as I like to do, I want to point to some research. And I saw a study once, and I don't remember where it's from. I really should start looking at this stuff before I do my videos. But as I always do, I will link it in the description, and you will be able to take a look for yourself. In this study, they had two groups. They had one that they pre-trained with a gradual increase for three weeks to minimize muscle damage. And in the other group, they did one big, massive muscle destroying workout prior to and then they did the workouts for eight weeks after this and what they found was that group that did the extreme muscle fatiguing breaking down workout they had five times higher creatine kinase levels which is a, a big marker for muscle breakdown they had much higher rate of perceived uh, soreness in their muscles all the markers that would that would signify muscle pain and breakdown. After the eight weeks, however, absolutely the same amount of strength and size was made between the two groups. No difference whatsoever. They did the same volume, they did all the same exercises, and they held all that true, so they got the same work, but they were less sore. Alright, so it's, soreness doesn't necessarily matter. The other thing I want to point to is a study that showed that electrical stimulation or electrical currents that they, they gave to muscles actually produced more actual muscle damage than eccentric exercise, but the rate of perceived, ex not exertion, the rate of perceived soreness was the same again. So it really goes to show that it's not necessarily the muscle itself that is sore after a hard workout. There's research that shows that it's probably actually the connective tissues and not the muscles themselves that are so sore. Anyway, I want to keep this one short, but the point of this is I'm not saying don't go hard, I'm not saying don't kill it in the gym, absolutely do, but don't think that just because you're not sore, you're not making gains. Don't think that you have to be really sore to make gains. It's not true. And that's really where this whole tying back to fitness myth number three, doing things more than once per week, really makes more sense because you're going to be less sore doing more work, less pain, more gains. Who doesn't want that? All right. As always, any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, until next time.